Hi, I'm Mark Doner, and this is the story of how the Karma Police caught up with me. It was the winter of my senior year in high school, and I was working at the ski resort in Hudson, Ohio. Basically what my job was is I was a lift operator and I started and stopped the ski lift to put people up the hill. It wasn't a mountain, we were in Ohio. Don't tell anyone this, but I actually didn't apply for the job. I just got it because my brother worked there and he was actually my boss. And don't get me wrong, it sucks sometimes having my brother as my boss, but this particular night, it was awesome. A girl from my school was throwing a huge party because her parents were going out of town. My crush, she was gonna be there. So me naturally, I had to be there. I asked my brother if I could go to the party and get off work early. It happened to be a not busy night, so he was like, yeah, bro, why not? Go have fun. <laughs> yeah! So by the time we get to the party, everyone was <laughs> face. We hopped in, we started dancing, grooving. I started talking to the girl, like I'm like, hey girl, what's up? While we're having a good time, you know, grooving it out, little did we know that the girl down the street, who's a total Paddletail was calling the police because she had a little FOMO and wasn't invited to the party. So she's on the phone, she's like, bring, bring, bring. Hello, um, yes, there's a party going down the street. I'm not invited, but they're drinking alcohol, bye. So I'm sitting there chatting up with the girl that I potentially could be marrying in the future. And then boom, boom, boom. Everyone's like, oh, the cops are here. What do we do? Some people are going out the back door. There's cops back there because they knew it was up. They're tackling people. Other people are getting away. Other people are falling into ponds trying to swim, I don't even know what's going on. Me, being an idiot and just an innocent dude, I froze. I didn't know what to do, I was like, ah, oh, I can't run from the cops. So I just stayed there, in the basement, tucked in a corner, by myself, sucking on my thumb. <laughs> Open the door, cops come down. Like, you're coming with me, I'm the law. Uh. And I'm freaking out. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna get arrested. So he takes me outside, he tells me he's gonna give me a field sobriety test, you know, with the whole eyes looking at the finger thing and touching your nose and whatnot, and I'm like, oh. Bro, I'm good. I haven't even had anything to drink because I was just at work. I just got here. Everyone else is face, but me, Mark Donner, sober. So he gives me the field sobriety test, thinking I'm gonna fail. Blue is mine, pass it with flying colors. I felt so relieved, I didn't get in trouble. You know, I learned from this one and I was like, yo, this will never happen again. The very next night, my buddy was dog sitting at some random house and he's like, yo, let's throw another party. I'm like, bro, you're, you're crazy like we just got busted last night he's like lightning doesn't strike twice i'm like hmm let me think about it for a second fine everyone shows up including the girl that i had the major crush on back in high school who i was talking to the night before i'm like yo let's pick up where we left off keep it in the pocket baby mm. so just when i'm starting to make a little progress with this girl i'm getting close to sealing the deal we had all the blinds closed and we see lights, flashlights outside through the blinds. We scram, we hide. I go upstairs, I hide in the bathtub with the shower curtain pulled up with my buddy and then bang, 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 bang. This is the police, open up. Some dumbass, who knows why, goes and opens the door. Why would you open the door? So they're scrummaging around downstairs. We hear them, we're sitting up there panicking. We're like, what do we do? I don't know what to do. My buddy's like, well, maybe we should just go down and turn ourselves in. Terrible plan. So I'm like, bro, I got an idea. I'm gonna call my brother. He's been through shit like this before. He's gotten in trouble. He's much older than me. I'm gonna see what we need to do. Bring, 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 bring. I'm in a bathtub with a curtain blocking me. There's cops downstairs at this party that just got busted. I don't know what to do. What do you want me to do? I'm like, I don't know. You've been in these situations before. I need your help. Well, can you get out anyway? And I look right there above the toilet, a window. I was like, all right, there's a street behind us. Come grab us. He's like, all right, I'll be right there. So me and my boy, we hop out of the shower curtain. We hear the police. They're like on their way up the stairs, stomping like. Doof, doof. This is the police. We pull up this window. We both get out. We drop down. Hurt a little bit, not going to lie, but we're sprinting, right? Faster than we ever run before. We're Usain Bolt. The crowd's cheering. We get to the street behind me. My brother's there. We hop in the back of his car. We got away. Scott, free, two for two. I'm sitting there like, yo, I'm untouchable. No one can stop me, not even the police, baby. But, you know, karma's a real thing, so I was wrong. Fast forward a couple days, my brother lets me off work early yet again. I'm driving home and I get a text. I look down at my phone to see who it is and it's the crush, the girl that I was at the first two parties with. I'm like, yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner, let's go. And the time I looked down, and looked back up, the car in front of me had stopped to turn left. I slammed on my brakes, the roads were sloshy, slide into the back of the pickup truck. I'm in a little baby car, you know, first car, a nice little sedan. Choo! Go straight underneath the back of the pickup truck. I'm And even worse, before we even have the chance to call the police, I look up and guess what I'm in front of? The police department. Before we could even get out of our cars, guess who rolls up? Woo! 
comes up to me and goes, oh, looks like you were following a little bit too closely here. Wait a second, weren't you the guy from the party the other night? I go, what? Oh, party? No, that wasn't me. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, getting back to the accident, he's like, hmm. Okay. Well, here's a ticket for uh, driving too close, not maintaining a safe distance. So then I go to hop back in my car, turn the ignition. <laughs> my car wouldn't start. Not only did I just get a ticket, now I gotta call my dad. Like, oh, Greg Daughter, this is me, what's up? I'm like, hey dad, I got in a car accident and my car won't start. Loses his marbles, fuming at me. My dad rolls up, he gets out of the car, he's red. He rings me out right there on the street, doesn't care, right in front of the police station. No worries in the world. He took away my driving privileges for the next five years. Every school year, every summer, for five years, until I moved to Los Angeles and I bought my own car. So moral of the story is a couple things. Absolutely do not text and drive. And karma is a bad bitch, and you gotta respect her. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my crazy party story. I hope you guys have some crazy stories of your own. And if you guys wanna check out any more of the crazy party stories, click over here and hit subscribe to subscribe to MTV for some more dope videos.